Welcome to Smiles Beyond the Isles. I'm Brett here at the Mankato Hilltop High View with our registered dietitian, April Graff. And she's here to tell us about why we've been seeing all these crazy teal pumpkins around town. Yeah, so Halloween is a time of fun, a time of excitement, and it should be for most families. But there's a group of kids and parents specifically who it can actually mean a little bit of stress. And those are our families who have food allergies and intolerances. And it's estimated that 15 million Americans have a food allergy. And so those cute little ghouls and goblins can you know, get sick um, from some of the treats that are there. And so the Teal Pumpkin Project really is education and a movement that helps uh, children with food allergies trick or treat safely. So how do we go about getting a teal pumpkin? So you can make a teal pumpkin with your own teal paint, uh, pick up a teal pumpkin already prepared. But the premise behind this really is having a teal pumpkin outside your doorstep so that families who have children with food allergies know that you have safe treats. Um, and then also to have available some non-food options available like stickers, glow sticks, there's little fun bouncy balls, erasers, and one of my personal favorites, where did they go? They are little whistles. We have all the different non-foods and you can choose to have candy for those who have a regular diet and then also split between the non-options or just have all non-food options as well. Thank you for tuning in. And for more information, go to KUIC.com community.